guys and welcome back to my channel make sure to subscribe for future videos so it's been a month since I left my full-time job in finance to pursue my blog full-time and I promised you guys that in a month I would you know fill you in and let you know how things are going I could not be happier I love being my own boss I'll probably say that a hundred times in this video love not having to set an alarm I love making my own schedule so I have a routine I wake up I make breakfast and then immediately I sit down around nine o'clock and start answering emails setting up posts. I spent all day Saturday and all day Sunday this past weekend at my desk writing emails, editing photos, pitching brands, scheduling social media. So I didn't have a weekend but at the same time, midweek, I can go and do what I want. I'm a night owl, so I will usually go run my errands midday when I don't have to deal with traffic or when I have a meeting or an appointment. And then I come home, and I'd say from like 4 o'clock till 11 or midnight, I'm working. I'm, that's when I'm most productive because there's nobody to bother me. I've spent a lot of time pitching brands for projects that I want to do that I didn't used to have time to do. As you may have noticed that my posts are now more consistent. I try and post... Monday, Wednesday with a video on Friday. I'm really gonna try and make videos consistent on Friday. It's still new to me. I just got my lighting set up. If you guys want a tour of how that looks and works, just leave me a comment below. One of the best things about becoming a full-time blogger is that I get to travel a lot more. You may have seen that at the end of April, I went to Miami to visit Kier, and I've never been to Florida. I'd happily go back. Liz and I threw a garden party and there were flowers everywhere, so that was a lot of fun to set up and host. A couple weeks ago, Tony came with us. We went to the poppy fields in Lancaster. I love taking day trips and having this vision and then having like other creatives that I get to work with come together and we create like this amazing product. I haven't really had any low points where I've freaked out and said what am I doing. I sometimes realize that I may have to live off my savings longer than planned and that's okay. I'm just gonna keep hustling because like I said in my last video the thought of having to go back to an office job scares me so much. I think the misconception is that it's not all pretty pictures with being a blogger for example I'd say I send out 50 proposals a week okay maybe maybe like 30 of just ideas that I have for different brands I want to work with and brands are so focused on numbers and I understand and I get that but with it, Instagram's algorithm it's harder and harder to grow but I'm honestly just focusing on producing really good content and the brands that want to work with me will I would say like 90% of them say no or sorry we can't right now and that's okay I'm that's fine because the 10% that do awesome like I said before my main focus right now is to just grow my brand and create amazing content. If you guys have any ideas of things you want to see, leave me a message below or email me. Don't forget to check out the giveaway I have going on with France Lock so you can win $100 worth of hair accessories. Thank you again for following me, for liking my pictures and commenting. It means a lot to me and it, it helps me. Thank you again. I couldn't do this without you. Have a good weekend. Bye.